All right, guys. So the next set of building numeric functions in SQL is maximum and minimum function. As the name suggests, you would have already guessed what these functions do. So let me take a text box over here, give you a simple idea of what max functions does. Max function does. Let's say I have three numbers over here, 125, 224, and let's say 635. And I run this function on these three numbers, keeping them in parentheses. Obviously, you would have guessed that it's going to fetch in the maximum value, which is 635. Similarly, if I run it for or minimum of the same three numbers, which is 125 and let's say 224 and 635, the minimum value would have been equal to 125. Very easy over here. But this is just a glimpse of what these functions can do. Now, once you start using this on databases, a lot of different things can be done. A lot of different things can be done. For example, to start with, let's say there's a database and this, let's say there is a column over here. Let's say there's a database and there are many columns. I'll just represent this. Okay, so there are a few columns over here and one of the columns that we have in our database is, let's say, of salary. Okay, and now you want to compare salaries of various departments. So let's say these are salaries over here and there are many employees in the organization and their salary details are present in this particular table. Now, if you run something like maximum of salary, right, from a certain table, let's say the table name is employees. Okay, and call it and of course, you'll select, use the DDL command select over here. So it's going to give you the output will be whatever among all the entire column in the entire column, whatever is the maximum salary is what you're going to get over here. Let's say the maximum salary is 135,000 in a certain company, right? So that is going to be fetched over here. Now you want to take it further and you want to do further analysis over here. We can use certain other statements that we have already gone through. Something like where statement, group statement, in which we can actually do a lot of stuff. For example, if I just consider these two columns over here, and let's say this, the other column is department, right? Now you want to find out that in a certain department, what is the maximum or minimum salary? Then you can run a certain, you know, query like this. I'll just put it over here. We can go for select, let's say maximum of salary as highest salary from employees, right? Now you can give a condition over here where department ID is equal to let's say 60. Now once you run this query over here, I'll just put it here. Let me take this and put it over here. Once you run this query, what the query does is it's going to go to all the department where the department ID is 60. Okay, so it is there are departments like 45, the department ID is 45, 50, 55, and there there's 60 over here. Then there are many departments and there's 60 over here, there's 60 over here. So what this query is going to do is to collect all the departments over here of 60. So all the employees having department ID 60 is collected over here. They have their own set of salaries, right? So they have, let's say 28,000 and let's say 55,000, I'll just put it as K and so on like this, right? So all the people with department ID 60 gets collected and this query, you don't know the way department is 60. Now this max of salary is not going to do anything, but to find out the maximum of all these salaries, which are kept over here. So it's going to give me the maximum of all these salaries and denote this as the highest salary from employees where the department ID is 60. We can use this with group by function as well. We'll see that in SQL as well. We can actually find out the maximum and minimum salary of all the departments. What is the maximum salary which I'm paying to a certain department or something like this. So although the functions are very, very, you know, basic and very commonly used, but the scope of use of this particular function is big when it comes to analytical purposes, right? Let's see this in SQL. All right, guys. So what I'll do is I'll use this database called as HR employees, right? Now, let me have a look at the data first. Select star from employees. So this is going to give me the entire data of employees. And let's say I go for department ID over here. Okay, so I like to see how many and different kind of department IDs are there for which I can use this select distinct. It's going to automatically suggest a distinct department ID from employees, right? Close the query. We'll see all the distinct department employees. And if you want to order by department underscore ID. All right. So now I'll see all the department IDs over here. We see there's 10, 19, 22, 38. Let's say I want to see what is the maximum minimum salary of department number 22 and 38 just taken randomly over here. So what I'll do is select maximum of salary as 
highest pay comma let's say i want to uh, represent the minimum of the salary over there as well i like to analyze both together right minimum of salary from or other i should have to give alias over here as lowest underscore pay and from of course employees so this is what we are doing over here right so this is maximum salary as highest pay this is the first column minimum of salary as lowest pay this will be displaced at the second column from employees now i would like to give the condition using the where clause where a uh, department id is equal to let's say 38 okay so this is what what it's going to do is to go to all the employees of department id 38 and it's going to fetch me two columns one is maximum salary and the name of that column will be highest pay let me make it capital h and another one which is minimum of salary and the name of that column will be lowest pay from employees where department id is equal to 38 right so now once i do this it's going to fetch me the highest and the lowest salary of that particular department as we can see it is 25000 4300 in the same department over here on to look at maximum minimum salary and highest salary and lowest salary or any other factor uh, department wise what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this query again let me copy this okay i'll run this as a separate query from employees and this time i'm going to go something like this that uh, what you need to do is to represent department as well so department department underscore id comma maximum salary is highest pay remember the three column guys these are the three columns i am having and now what i'm doing is i'm going to go for group by department remember this group by right it's going to group the entire data department wise right group by de department id and now what is going to fetch me is the detail of the highest pay and the lowest paid department wise now i want to order by department you can go for order by department ment underscore id and now it's going to order by department id as well unfortunately in department id there is a null value hence it is reflecting the null value as well but now from department id is organization 10 19 22 38 45 45 is going to give you the highest and the minimum pay of the department so this is what you can do with maximum and minimum function in sql